Hello and welcome to a weekly vlog. As you can see, I have on overalls. I'm gonna go do some yard work. I have rented a U-Haul again. We're here again. I can't believe it's been a year. Uh, actually, this is a little different. I'm not clearing out any ivy. I'm going to be taking a bunch of brush that I've cut down to the dump. So I rented a truck and we're gonna do that. And then I would like to get some new plants and some flowers to put around the garden. Anyway, I need to get going actually. I've made the reservation to go pick up this truck. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing in the yard here in a minute. And uh, yeah, let's hit the road, cowboy. <laughs> Alrighty. Got my smoothie. Let's drive. I have a sickness. If somebody posts a food that's junk food on their story, I will then have to get it. So I saw somebody post donuts and they looked so good. And I thought, great, now I gotta get a donut. It's called the peanut butter. That in there, my friends, is called the the Oprah Winfrey. And it's bacon on maple, so yum. Um, but I'm gonna have a little bit of this here, peanut butter one. But I definitely will not be able to eat this entire donut. Mm. I'm, I like how I had a smoothie and then a donut. <laughs> Call balance. Look it up. Okay, I'm putting on my cuter sunglasses. The other ones I had on are my prescription ones for driving. I need to get a new pair of prescription glasses because those ones aren't very cute. These are cute. I look like a bug. Uh, <laughs> I've got bush stuck in my head, which is ironic because I'm gonna go clean up bushes. Come back down from this cloud. Taking me all this time to find out what I need, yeah. When you're wearing like utility clothes, I don't really know that it's like show off worthy, but I guess it's kind of cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and say that this outfit, these overalls will become my working overalls. So I just have to like let them get dirty. Let them get dirty. Because I will never wear these out as like, these are my nice overalls. Like, no, they're only going to be for doing tasks around the house. So I imagine they will eventually have paint on them and dirt and soil and bleach, <laughs> whatever else. I mean, I don't know. Are they too cute to like let get messed up? And like, they're so wrinkled. I don't know. So this is what I'm cleaning. This is all the brush. I have more on this over here. And it's this area that I cleared out and all through here. So this all had these sticks. I don't even know what kind of plant it is, but I know that it was a weed and I, it's been insane how quickly it spreads throughout our yard. This actual whole area is going to be knocked out and we're pushing the kitchen out when we're renovating, but we're not doing that for a little bit. So for now, we're just doing minor things we can do to make it not suck so much. So yeah, but this pile. Look how tall these things are. And then this area is back to kind of like a square one where I can do whatever I want with it. I think it's time to do some more. I was waiting for some of these plants to come in so I can see basically where I can plant things. Believe it or not, the truck is full. <laughs> and that's the pile. Something very embarrassing and terrible to say. Um, our Christmas tree is slowly dying next to our house. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. We do this every year. Whenever we get Christmas trees, we like toss them in this spot next to our house with intentions to cut it in half and put it in the yard bin. But <laughs> we just forget. <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. There's the Christmas tree. <laughs> so dead. Oh dear. <laughs> We're all tarped up and ready to go. Tied it down just so that nothing goes flying all over the streets. But I'm starting to think 
until we can get a, a truck or like a bed of some sort to pull all this stuff. We should get a wood chipper because this could all easily be thrown into a wood chipper. That would have been so much more handy. Anytime I think of a wood chipper, I just think of the end of Fargo. If you know, you know. It's one of my favorite movies to put on. It's very like nostalgic. I'm already covered in sap and scratches from yesterday and today. As you can see, the red lipstick did not last. It was the donut. The donut took it out. TKO, donut one, red lipstick, zero. I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. Well, it appears my tarp has blown off and revealed the horror that is my Christmas tree to everybody behind me. How embarrassing. This sucks. It did it again. This time the string didn't break. So it's just blowing back. But I don't want it to go all over the road. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> all right, we've made it to the dump. Everything is intact. As you can see, you should be able to get in without having to pay anything. I'm pretty sure it's free. And then Home Depot is right here. So I'm probably just gonna go like buy a couple of plants to make all of this worth it. I just had the kindest gentleman come and offer to help me. Still got it, you guys, I still got it. All right, we got some plants. I tried to get flowers in a mixture of color and um, some grass. I've never gotten grass. And I also got some herbs because I have freestanding planter. I just wanna make that a little spot for herbs. I just got cat called. This is my second time today getting cat called. Who knew that overalls <laughs> were what got them going? Here's what I ended up getting at the garden center. We have Rush, Blue Dart, Partial Sun, perfect. We have marigolds, I'm so sad. I'm so sad, uh, but we still have two left. Zonal Geranium, we have a lily. Love the look of this. Creeping Phlox, love them. <gasps> how beautiful these white ones are. These are Martha Washington geraniums. Those are one of my favorites. We have a zonal geranium, another one in red. Uh, we have, oh yes, 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 I forgot about this. So we have some strawberries. Yes, okay, so I know strawberries can go a little crazy. So I was thinking of putting them in here. And this is a daffodil. I'm gonna pull him. We have slicer tomato. I'm going to plant that somewhere. Not sure where yet. Lavender. Lavender. Uh, this is probably going to go with these guys. And then we have oregano. I also want him to be in here because this is kind of like my, so I have like my mint and my cilantro. I kind of want my herbs to be in here. Anyway, um, that is the plant haul. Now to get them in the ground. You want it, Bean? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good morning. I'm gonna do a spring eye look and I'm going to do it based off of the bluebells in the yard. I wanna be inspired by everything we've done in this video so far and 
do makeup based off of that. This has been the most handy palette in spring. I love it so much. So we're gonna go in with In the Clouds, the purpley color. I remember the first time we moved in in like autumn. So we didn't know what the yard truly looked like. Everything was already dead. And so it was really bare. So when spring rolled around, I remember waking up the morning that they bloomed. Yeah, I just remember when the bluebells popped up and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I just embraced their beauty. And every year they came in, I'd say a few years came, they came in and I was into them. And then there was finally a year where I started to realize, man, this is a lot of work. <laughs> We're gonna take frequent flyer and just see what this looks like over top of the lid. It is pretty. So I just did a little of first class in the tear duct and look at how pretty that came out. I really like that. Back with the Maybelline, keeping it tilted on its side and just stamping as tight to the lash line as we possibly can. Now we're gonna go as straight out as we possibly can. My goal is to keep the wing as linear as I possibly can and as straight and skinny as I possibly can. All right, so we're gonna give these a go. These are called the Baddington Beauty Lashes. This will be the true test to see how my skin reacts. There's the glue on the lash. Hey, sister nature. <laughs> okay. It's got some stick. Oh my god, I haven't had like thick lashes like these in such a long time. Another thing I wanted to do because I haven't been able to do this is adhere some gems to my face because if you guys remember over Christmas I did a ornament kind of on my face design. I used the duo lash and I ended up having welts on my face for like almost two weeks so I really regretted it. So I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to add some gems like right maybe like right here and right here, kind of like in the center. And do we want to do silver or gold? What if this was just straight up Elmer's glue like that we used in school? <laughs> it smells like it. It smells like the Elmer's glue that kids used to eat. Remember that? I never was a glue eater. Were you a glue eater? No judgment if you were. If you're a glue eater, I'm still your friend. Don't worry about it. I'm not like that. I'm friends with everyone. I'm that person. I'll literally be friends with everybody as long as you're not an a-hole. I just did a little bit of blush. I did my normal Marc Jacobs bronzer, you guys. I've been using it for so long. And I just did the pink blush in here, Bellini. So this is the Valentino lipstick. From what I remember, I haven't really worn it. It doesn't have a name. It's just 100R. But it's this really rosy, pinky color. And it's so cute, the little Valentino thing. And I definitely am interested in maybe purchasing their lipstick so I like this little sample and then we're just going to use the Dusty Rose Anastasia pencil with it. I really like how creamy that went on. That was really nice. I have been like what is up with my skin? And this is why I like the extensions. All I do is braid my hair at night when I go to sleep and then I wake up and they're just kind of naturally wavy and just really simple and very boho and that's what I like. So I don't have to do any heat to my hair. It really helps kind of repair the uh, natural, my natural hair from the bleaching is just putting the extensions, I know it sounds weird, but it, putting the extensions in helps my hair because then I don't put heat on them. Oh, and I wanted to do, I want to do a gem here because I'm going wild with the glue. We're gonna just glue things all over our face and we'll see what happens. Boop. Cute little guy there. Anyway, uh, that is the lovely look. We're gonna go get dressed and see uh, what I end up wearing because I have no idea actually. I need to just go look, but that's the makeup. Do I look like a bluebell? Do I look like a spring garden? Okay, so as you guys know, I have a trip coming up and I'm saving my cider clothes mostly for that, but I think it's going to be possibly too hot for this. I'm gonna just go ahead and wear this now because it's so perfect for the garden and I just need to figure out what skirt would be cute with it. All right, here's the outfit I've gone with. Decided to put on a just a good old fashioned jean skirt. I was actually gonna wear jeans, but 
I thought the skirt would be a little cuter with the cowboy boots. I thought I would dress up and look a little like a flower <laughs> to go garden and then wanted to include some makeup in it and yeah we're gonna go walk around the garden i'm gonna show you what i did yesterday give you a little tour well you already know what i did but you know a really short tour and i want to get some photos next to all my flowers uh but i did get a package and i want to show it to you really quickly now i have been wanting to get one of these for a very very long time and i finally just hit purchase it is a macro lens i really want to get as close up to things as I possibly can, including flowers, nature, maybe my eyes. If I have cool eye makeup, I don't know how that works, but I just really want to have fun playing with the macro lens. This goes on to your iPhone. Okay, well, well, first of all, as far as just how it comes packaged, oh my gosh, it has a case. Okay, this, see, look, this girl, She's on to something. This is what exactly what I bought it for. I wanna take cool flower pictures. And this is what the inside looks like with all of the loose parts. So this is what I believe attaches the lens to your phone. We've got a little strap, this to charge the light. But uh, I really just want this part, so let's see. Oh, look at how close we get to that nose. Lamate, sit still, sit still. Let me say, oh, <laughs> let me say Tana, let me say, <laughs> I'm trying to get your nose. Oh, that's a good nose. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the little light is for, so I'll have to keep reading the instructions, but none of that, none of that. I'm going to uh, finish my coffee really quick and then we're going to pop outside and go look at the garden with the macro lens. Oh, I see a flower I can take a photo of right now. <laughs> I've become macro lens crazy. Mm. cute photos in my garden too. I'm so excited. Look at how close up to these flower buds I was able to get. This is awoken the beast. <laughs> the nature loving the, the water droplets on this flower. It's heavenly. It's actual heavenly. My dog <laughs> I got that as close to her nose. She's moving so it's still blurry but <laughs> <laughs> oh she's so cute anyway that was so fun i hope you guys enjoyed gardening with me over the past couple of days we got a lot done i feel super accomplished and even got to fit in a little bit of makeup and some outfit stuff so hopefully it's well rounded this is the goal uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're not and i'll see you guys on the next video bye Thank you.